Hello world, I'm Maya Sendermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far I have been able to share my experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum or rather have Asperger's syndrome. A second thing that I will do is provide uh, my two cents on uh, what's going on with autism in the media and a third area entails uh, providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum. I will also reach out to your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers, and anybody who is inside the autistic community. And finally, I will cover topics on things that I'm passionate about, along with sharing the day in the life of Maya Sendermeyer. So check it out. that is short and sweet and what I wanted to do is uh, talk to you personally uh, because I've done a lot of day in the life I haven't done that in a long time so anyway what I want to do is talk about the joys of uh, riding public transit meaning that sometimes I'm gonna have good days and sometimes I'm going to have bad days and uh, in this particular case I had a bad experience two bad experiences today while riding public transit. Uh, the first being that this is just so weird because I boarded the bus and uh, I was headed to an appointment today. I mean, I, I boarded my first bus and it was on that, uh, that route that I encountered one of the, the strangest ways to be nasty to someone and or the strangest ways to snap at someone. So first of all, I boarded the bus today and uh, the yeah, driver was just incredibly nasty to me and she made me feel bad or rather she put me on a guilt trip just because I tapped my card and I asked if uh, it had gone through. No, but you shut the computer down. And I said, ma'am, I'm sorry, you're having a bad day. I'm not having a bad day. You shut the computer down. So she had to uh, restart the system and I had to wait a few minutes and since it didn't come back up she just told me to sit back but she was so nasty that I was at the point of wanting to cry because uh, it was that abusive and when I board a bus I don't expect to get uh, that kind of treatment and I don't expect to be blamed for things that I'm not in control of but they're just some people out there are so many people right now that are just so angry and just every time someone else turns around they're the brunt of that person's anger and it looks like I was the brunt of this woman's anger and then when I was in commute there was a gentleman sitting next to me and he was trying to hit on me and he was definitely not the kind of guy that I want in my life or one on my arms because uh, he just seemed like he'd be uh, someone who would be unpleasant and it seemed like that would be a toxic relationship but I was just sitting looking out the window sitting next to me and first of all he touched me on purpose just touched my shoulder which which I sort of brushed off at first and later on he asked me if I was okay and I told him what happened and he agreed that was wrong and I wanted to talk to him further, but then he asked me my name, and that's when I realized he was flirting with me. And I said, I don't give that personal information out, and he got mad and shut down. And I was uh, sort of uh, fiddling with my umbrella, because these are broken. And uh, you see that your umbrella, your umbrella is broken, and I said, yeah, so? And I just ignored him again, and then he goes, this, is, this really hit deep, got under my skin. I see that you have a hard time making friends. And I said, oh, I have them. And I said, but even if I do struggle, that doesn't mean I'm, a, I'm not a strong woman. Actually, I said, that doesn't mean that, <laughs> actually, yeah, I do struggle to make friends, but just so you know, I'm a strong woman. And he said, there's nothing wrong with that. And he never bothered me again after that. Um, so those are the joys of riding public transit. Um, for those of you that are parents that want your kids to ride public transit, 
know that they're going to run into situations where people are mean like that driver and people that want to um, hit on your son or your daughter because they're attractive or because they look vulnerable. Um, uh, those are some of the things to look out for. Uh, and also uh, make sure that, uh, that they have good communication skills so that they can learn how to uh, advocate for themselves and uh, contact the, your bus company's customer service. Or if you're that uncomfortable, teach them to drive. Don't hold them back. I mean, I'm 37 now and I am uh, looking into driving a vehicle, which is something I've never done. Uh, I got discouraged all my life, but you're too impulsive. Uh, you have this wrong with you, you have that wrong with you. I Me, mean, I just, I wanna get to a point where I wanna drive a vehicle. I'm not listening to anybody else anymore, so. Anyway, if you like what I'm doing, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Also be sure to check me out on social media. You can hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, uh, Instagram, and then check out my written blogs that are scholarly and practical application. Until next time, I'm Maya.